Okay, hello. So again, well, uh, I will watch it for again to another Let's Defend uh, alert. This time, I uh, will deal with will deal with this one SOC 175 PowerShell found in requested URL CVE 2022-41082 exploitation so this is a very recent zero day uh, still very hot uh, very hot uh, involving exchange RCE vulnerability okay so as you can see here the target is an exchange server the traffic is inbound and here's the requested URL that triggered the alert. Okay, so you can see here it was blocked with the user agent. And the reason URL contains PowerShell. Of course, uh, of course, the first step is to take ownership. Continue. Okay, and then create a key start playbook. Okay, so the first question is understand why the alert was triggered. So, recommendation here is to duplicate the site. Okay, let's duplicate the site and let us go to the alert details. Okay, as you can see here, uh, this is the triggering reason because the alert. The URL contains a PowerShell, but another thing is the alert is contains possible CVE exploitation. So we will search that CVE. Actually, it's related to the proxy not shell. So here's the CVE details. So it's an MS Exchange Server remote code execution vulnerability. And mind you, this is zero day with an exploit available in the wild. So this is. This is really considered a critical vulnerability. Okay, so here's the short description. Attacker must be authenticated, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Then there are other articles as well. It's known as a proxy nutshell. And as you can see here, this is very fresh, this October 4. And up to this date, there are no available MS patches yet uh, that I know of. So hopefully, this will be fixed soon. Okay, so now that we know more details, let's click next. Collect data. So again, uh, let's duplicate the tab. Go to log management. Okay, we can search it here. Okay, or perhaps we could search the source. Search. There. So, as we can see, all our inbound traffic. Uh, we can click the raw here. Okay, this is the request URL, get method, and it's blocked. Same thing. Request URL, notice here, there seems to be a redirection to the able.com. Get this, get this specific URL. It's also blocked. And then, this is the triggering URL with the PowerShell keyword, also blocked. Now again, we can search the endpoint, endpoint logs. Oh, sorry. We can search for anything. This one. Of course, we can search. Recall it's September 30, 30. Uh, the lags we have checked earlier. And as you can see here, nothing nothing close to that September 30 uh, network traffic. But the command also nothing interesting. This one are quite old. Nothing interesting as well. So seems the attack really failed and completely blocked by the way uh, we could look up the the ip the ip reputation here you can see uh, let me just run 
okay yeah so here you can see it is malicious and uh, countries from korea okay doing ssh brute force and even now here is trying to do some exploitation or command injection here we can click next now uh, we did already examine the http traffic oh yes it's malicious and the attack type is we can say it's actually command injection you can try that but i've also read other but that seems to indicate that this is actually ssrf uh, leveraging ssrf so we could also choose other since ssrf is not here oh check if it's a planned test so we could search this one search for the related email communications about possible red teaming activity but there seems to be no related email so we can deduce it's not planned okay and definitely that direction is inbound so internet to company network and check whether the attack was successful so we did found out all, all traffic was blocked so no and then for the artifact we could actually just add this so that would take care of the the related malicious url as well so we could just block the ip click next definitely we don't need to escalate right now because the attack was not successful but as best practice uh, given that we already we already identified that the specific CDE was being exploited we could do a active proactive scan in our network enterprise to see which assets are affected and definitely have them scheduled for for patching but since there's no available patch yet so better to be on top of the news or the Microsoft release past Tuesdays and schedule appropriately or implement compensating controls like detections and auto blocking of malicious traffic okay so no okay let me just copy my analysis notes here so here so yeah from the triggering URL we can deduce the malicious IP trying to download malicious file from able.com using the PowerShell protocol but it was not successful okay and we're done okay close, close the alert and we can give the true positive but it was blocked okay we got all the answers correct so let's check there you go